there's a fine line between free speech and hate speech, and political activist Lauren Southern has no problem with it. Her controversial views have seen her booted from the UK. Now she's landed in Australia, and she has plenty to say. Free speech, the the only reason I'm being criticized is because it is cool and hip, and right now it is considered the decent thing to do to respect Islam. Oh, no, 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 no. Women are, are not going to be as great being CEOs. That's just not what we are psychologically developed there to be great There are a lot at. of female CEOs there are some who would... Free speech. And do you think diversity is a wonderful and beautiful thing? No, of course not. I, I mean, maybe diversity of thought, sure. We're, we're having a conversation. I'm, I'm... Lauren, who are you? Who am I? I am just a 23-year-old Canadian girl, and I'm just a voice for a lot of people who can't speak up because they're afraid of being fired from their jobs. They're afraid of being excommunicated. She's the young woman at war with the world as she sees it. Should we kill Lauren Southern? Maybe not kill her, but string her up by her feet. Aren't you her? Huh? Trying to very offensive. Yeah, yeah, it is offensive. You can't just withdraw consent. How far can this go? Alt-right activist Lauren Southern has touched down in Australia. Political guns blazing. On arrival, her message loud and clear and she's brought with her no apologies. It should not be a shocking statement to say it is okay to be born with a skin color. But if it doesn't need to be said, why say it? It clearly does need to be said because the press here all called it a provocative shirt. No one would call it a provocative shirt to say it's okay to be black. Welcome to fascist. Southern's extreme views have made her an internet sensation. And despite all the death threats, she says Australia wants her. She's promising to pack venues around the country for her speaking tour, starting in Melbourne tomorrow. Here's the broad message. It's the vast majority of Muslims worldwide that do support rather barbaric practices. And that is not a religion that is coherent or amicable with the Western world. Quite lovely. So we took her to our own multicultural streets, a sizable security team in tow. Well, Lauren, welcome. This is our Chinatown. How do you feel being here? Well, it doesn't feel like Australia, that's for sure. Doesn't it? <laughs> the white people come here to go on their little, ooh, let's see China adventure, and then they don't talk to anyone who's Chinese and they go home. Uh, it's, it's, this is, like I said, in the future, if this were to become half the country. Just one second. Through the window right now, I yep. can see a gentleman who appears to be of Indian appearance. Two gentlemen who appear to be of Asian appearance and a white gentleman all sitting together and having lunch. Very good. You found the exception. Well, Very good. We just, I walked past and saw through the window some uh, multiculturalism at its best. Not to Lauren, though. She's infamous for this stunt in the UK, handing out anti-Muslim flyers that read Allah is gay. So we're just here to challenge these far-right misconceptions. It had her banned from the country altogether, and now she's bringing her anti-Islamic agenda here. Islam is based on submission. You submit to Allah, and if you leave, you die. She's far right on all matter of issues, though. Despite being an outspoken, self-employed trailblazer of sorts, just try her on feminism. What is my opinion on feminism? I think it has become uh, completely obsolete, not just obsolete, but counterproductive to women's happiness. So should we reverse and, and, and back to the old days of women in the kitchen and men bringing home the wages, the food on the table? I think people would actually be a lot happier in that way. I, I know that's unpopular to say. Women are, are not going to be as great being CEOs. That's just not what we are psychologically developed there to be great at. There are a lot at. of female CEOs there are some. who would, who would a take lot of them are great miserable. offense to that. There are some. I, I am a working woman myself. I, I work my butt off. I run my own business. Are you miserable? I'm 23. I still have lots of time to have a family. But a lot of women tend to drop out of their lawyering jobs, their CEO jobs, uh, by the time they want to have a family, and they never go back 
because that they're is far a gross happier doing that. So how do you believe your outfit is going to stop perpetuating rape culture? And this is her with the sign. The lone woman at a rape culture protest in her own city of Vancouver telling the women there they're wrong. For the women who are being stoned to death for being raped, to look at women in the Western world who get to run around with titty stickers on half naked and have nothing happen to them, complain about living in a rape culture is very, very sad. Sorry guys, there's only two genders. Two genders, female and male. And here's Lauren taking on the transsexual community. There's genuine delusion there. In Lauren's world, everything is black and white. It's body dysmorphia, that is a mental illness, right? Do you know how offensive that is to someone who's watching who believes that they're transgender right now? To it doesn't tell matter them that if it's offensive. We're gonna go and see if I can get my government ID changed to male. She even had her own gender change to male to prove her point that the world is headed in the wrong direction. You made that application and I dare say abused the process in trying to convince them that you are male and believe you're male when you don't. I think the process abused the people considering it took me an hour. And Lauren tried to dupe the people of Melbourne today to gauge how she's being received here. Should we kill Lauren Southern? Aren't you her? No, she's a fascist. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's her. But she is a fascist and she's a racist, I'm pretty sure as well. Respect be damned, there are far more important things to be concerned about now. Cart full of Melbourne and the locations of Lauren's speaking engagements around Australia are secret, so protesters can't attend.